ja, an unsere Kollegen bevor wir explizieren, um, I have to do the project. The first step is, this is the best way I can explain it. The first step is first create a new folder. You can name it whatever what you want to name it. So this is my new folder. First of all, now, after you create this new folder, it is the new folder. Then you go and bring your images. You're gonna take your images. Uh, now to class five, five of this. You want to do it for five, yeah. This five, I like them. I copy them. Oh shit. Then I copy. And then I paste in this new folder. Paste. So, and the second one I pick from a different um, image. So uh, let me see these five images I want to classify. Five of this image I want to classify. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, these five of them. Then I copy also, and then I paste in this place. So after that, then I copy the code. Whatever the code is, this way I kept my code. Um, this is the test code. Copy. Copy. And then you paste here. Then you select another test code from here. Copy. And then you paste in the new folder you've just created. It remains one more code that I want to copy. So this code, I copy this code, and then I paste it in my new folder. Paste. So now, after you've done all this, you need to find the file part for this. And there are some computers that you can't find the file part for this. So I'll teach you an easy method uh, that you can use to figure out the file part. Um, it's very easy so the first step you're going to do if you can't find the file part for you to be able to find the file part you're supposed to double click like this and something like this should show up if this doesn't show up then i'll teach you how you can make it show up like that in the mind then you go to this then you go to file explorer 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 options you see something like this file explorer options then you double click on this so this will pop up so you go to view then make sure this is ticked if this is not ticked it's not going to show so you tick it then you click on apply and then you click on ok so make sure that's ticked so then you come back to that your folder this is your new folder you have created then you double click once you double click you see this part then you copy this part let's copy like this and then you go to the uh, MATLAB and then you click like this, then you delete this, then you post this, then you paste this. So this is the part that you click enter. So all your images will appear on the on this side of the MATLAB. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to training because we have to train the images first. So click, click on training. Then you go to edit so then you run the image. So, if you don't see anything here, you come to this place, you click on this, you see all files, then you see all this. So, you start picking them one by one, you open. And so, I'm going to put this one as class one. Press enter. Go to editor again, run again. You go down here. Go down there and then you pick this that should be class one and then you enter you click on enter and then you go to the third one you run You run, then you click on this again. The third one, I think this is the third image. Then you put class one again. So you click on this. You go to the fourth. Keep doing it. Um, click on this. You go to the fourth image. Now you click on class one. 
from Pop Talk. You can press Caucus One, you can press her, you get a 15 each. So once you go to the 50 image, you click on image number five, you open, you click on class one. So you go to the 60 image, to editor, you click on this. So because this the 60 image is another different image entirely. So you can click on you can make this one class two, but I'm going to make this one class three because of some reasons. Um, some reasons with my PC, so I'm going to use make it class three. So I'll click on this, open it, and then I'll put class three. Then I'll come to editor again, run it. You can make that class two on your own, but because of my PC, I'm having some issues with it. With the number two, so I'm not going to be using it. So, this I make it class three. Then I could click on enter. Then I come to editor again. I keep running, keep running, running all files. Then I go down again. I classify this. I make this one class three. And then I come to editor again, I run again, I do this, then I make this one again, class 3 again, then I come to editor again, I run, keep running until you're done with all your images, so this I might play, make it class three. Class three, that's all. So, as of now, I've done my classification finish. So, this is your database. This DB by this side is your database. So, you double click on it. So, something will pop out at the by your right hand there. So, these are all your numbers you're going to attach to your report. So I'll tell you in a few minutes how you're going to extract all these numbers to your desktop and then you can copy it to your uh, Microsoft Word. So now I'm going to do the testing process. So first of all, you go to the test code. Double click on the test code. It's going to open a new this thing. So you're going to make some correction in this test code. The first correction you're going to make is this number 9 and 10. You're going to delete all this. Number 9 and 10 code, you're going to delete it. So you come up. So the next correction you're gonna make is um yeah this four for this i equals to one but yeah distance this should be i not one it should be i you make that correction this should be i also you make that correction and the third correction you're gonna make you're gonna delete this is equals to no you're gonna delete this apostrophe yes like this and then you put the apostrophe after equals to so you cross check and make sure it's like this so once the code is like this you cross check and then you now copy this code you copy all of them and after you copy all of them you open a new tab very new tab then you paste so once you've pasted all these you're not going to try to run it now when you run this code after you have pasted another tab and you're trying to run it it's going to bring you to the dialog bo box which says you should save it so you run this code and it's titled untitled so i save it like that so I click save so it has saved it then we're gonna pop out this dialog box again so you're going to click all files to see all your images you now start testing the testing process you can click on this let's test this which class so that should be class three and this class three so click on ok let's test another image at the top then you run you understand you get all files then this should be class one class one let's see yeah this class one so you can see that the classifications are pretty okay so after that you did that for like 10 20 images and that should be okay so you see the 
you want the number of uh, images that were wrong and right and then you can write that in your report and talk about that so that's all for that so then you're done with you're already done with this so and i'm going to teach you how you're going to extract your database which is this it's very easy well you can do the first one you can use sniping tools which is not really pretty it's not okay you can type sniping tools so you click on this and then you click new then you can do this then you can attach it to your your microsoft word or um you see you can save it no i don't want to save so now the next one that you can do that is very easy especially when you have images up to 100 million you're classifying 100 images so what you're going to just do is going to put x l s right yeah and then you put comma then you put um a bracket um, then apostrophe then you're going to copy the file path for the desktop that you created the first time the new folder which is it and then you're going to look for the file path why you're looking for the file path is to identify the desktop path so you copy this uh you go to matlab and then you do paste so you're going to delete this the first one and name it whatever you want to call it so me in my case i put results and then when i put dot x l s which is the um, um like the add-on for um excel but if you put dot doc it's going to have some problems and i'm going to show you after i've done this that's why we're not advised to use dot doc yeah i'm going to show you what's going to happen so this then you put um an apostrophe at the top then you put comma then you're going to put this db because you want to, you want to extract the things in db so you're going to put the database and then you're going to close the bracket and then you're going to put an apostrophe like um, a colon and then you're going to press enters so this code should run then you minimize this and go to your desktop so you see results like because I saved it with results. You can see this place and I'm gonna light it result dot this. So you're gonna check the desktop and you see results. So once you see something like this, you double click on it, you then all your all your numbers are available. So you can just copy this and then use in your project. So now let me tell you if you use dot doc, let me copy this in code and then copy copy in the same code and then pasting it here then i want to change this to dot doc d u c which is supposed to copy it into microsoft word and press enter and then you're going to do it let's see it's going to put bring out that dot doc this is the result in um in microsoft word but there's going to be a problem it's going to show some kind of errors like this I don't know some garbage so that's how I advise you don't use dot doc you just use dot excel which is very pretty okay um, it's pretty okay I think okay so I don't know what really works so so then you now copy to word so after you're done with that um you're done with that so you open microsoft what you have actually done with the project so you just put use this first code that i highlighted you to extract your existing and so you are virtually done with the training and testing part then you can um conclude your project so i just hope this video was helpful to you and thank you all